All right, guys, today we are going to do a top 10 grocery haul at Dollar Tree. So this is highly requested. You guys are always saying like you get steaks, you get eggs, you get Louis Vuitton shoes at Dollar Tree. So we're going to check it out and see what they offer. And I'm looking for some deals because sometimes it's like $3.75 and you don't realize until you get to the register. So uh, It looks like this place was just looted. Yeah, it does. Two net carbs per serving. Hot and spicy peanuts. If you like hot and spicy, the best. They're addictive. Yeah, they got a lot of nut options. This one just has canola oil. So like, that's kind of what you get at the dollar store though. This is a reasonable low carb nut mix option. As long as it doesn't have anything like cranberries or banana chips, you know, obviously stay away from those ones. So they've got some bacon jerky here, one carb. Oh, that's a winner. That's a top 10, a little bit of sugar. Seven fat, 10 protein. That's good. The one so sad to go Jeff. So before you guys start saying like, you know, the world's coming to an end, everything's terrible. A hundred years ago, this was the pinnacle of snacking. This was the best thing you could possibly eat. It took the world by storm. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, I need my Cracker Jacks. Now we have Oreo Cakesters, okay? You always Settle use down. Oreo Cakesters. The world's not coming to an end. It's only getting better. Pork rides. What do we got here? We got barbecue flavor. So when you're buying pork rinds, what I like to look for is what is it fried in and what's in the seasonings. For this one, you can see a lot of ingredients. It doesn't look like it's fried in anything other than pork fat, which is good, but you got like some sugar, you got MSG, a lot of not great stuff, but I'd still buy it in a pinch for sure. I'm not a big salsa person, but a lot of people like putting their, this on their eggs and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. a good option. Yeah, it's cheap. It's a dollar. Right? I think everything here is a dollar? Yeah, I think so. That's why there's no prices anywhere. Oh, they got a refrigerated section. Oh, they got some veggies. As far as their meat goes, at least we can guarantee that it's all a dollar. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's four ounces, so four ounces of chicken breast for a dollar? Usually at Kroger and stuff, you can find them for like two dollars a I just got like sticky juice on my hand. <laughs> but it's good for like single serve, right? So like if you're yeah. just one person, you're in college or something. And then they have quite a bit of vegetables. So the broccoli cauliflower blend, asparagus spears, those are gonna be really good. Yeah, that's a dollar, that's a good deal. Let's look at their broccoli with cheese sauce. What's in this? So that looks good, right? That's just one side for me. Six carbs, two fiber. So four net carbs for this entire carton. And the ingredients aren't terrible. Just like pasteurized milk, broccoli, skim milk, water. They got rice cauliflower even down there. Wow, yeah. And then they got like peas and carrots. I mean, they have a lot of options for a dollar for your entire family, even if you like you're keto and your family's not keto. They've also got some frozen berries, strawberries, blackberries. So those are good. Heat and serve Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage. These are great. I had these all the time when I was in college. They're two carbs for three links. So like not the best ingredients, not great either. Like dextro sugar but it's an option for sure. You can just microwave these if you're in a rush. For a dollar, I mean, that's that's breakfast, right? For a dollar? They got these pickles, which are pretty good for a dollar. I like the hot ones. These are good ingredients too. No sugar. They got a bunch of lunch meat. I wouldn't buy lunch meat from here. I mean, eh. Good turkey bacon. Oh, Jenny O turkey bacon, hello. I mean, I don't really buy turkey bacon, but I used to. You cook it up in additional fat? For a dollar? Yeah, this is, this is a steal. What are those Franks looking like? Or smoked sausages down there. Five carbs, a little bit, a little bit too much for my liking personally. They got these franks. These are three carbs each. You're just you're sacrificing in quality, of course. That's what you expect walking into the dollar store. But you definitely got some options here. Lower the quality. Sometimes that comes with a little more carbs. They got string cheese. Oh, so it's it's a three pack for a dollar. Country ham. It has brown sugar in it though. It's only one carb for two ounces though. That looks actually kind of good. A lot of fat too. So it doesn't look like they have any good sweetener options. Nothing with stevia. They have these like, you know, sweet and low, those type of ones. I would never buy these personally because you can just a little more effort and you'll have better options like stevia. Just order on Amazon, honestly, guys. The stevia, it lasts you how long? Like like six months. Yeah. And it's $20. If you get the eight ounce bottle, I'll it's, link it it's below. like $16. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. These are coffee syrups. They don't have any sugar-free ones. I know a lot of you guys like the sugar-free syrups though. Condiments, you know, I love my condiments. As far as their dressings go and their condiments, I mean, mayo is gonna be high fat, ranch. The downside is, is that they're gonna have like soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower oil as like the base for the fat, but it's a dollar. And if you're not fine with that, then these are great options to like add to just any meal to up the fat. 
Whoa. Individual bag. Is this individual though? This still has three servings, but this is a serving. See, I feel like you could just pour milk into that, right? Yeah. And that's breakfast. Shake it up and just pour. This was my favorite growing up. I ate it every day. So the thing with a dollar store or the dollar tree we're at is that shelf stability is really important. So you're not going to find a ton of like high quality keto options because a lot of those things are going to be non shelf stable, right? Food's not supposed to be shelf stable. But I mean, it's it's a good and a bad thing for sure. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is going to be canned. And that means a lot of preservatives, a lot of additives. And that means more carbs, unfortunately. Coconut cooking spray, the seemingly a top 10 coconut cooking spray. So water, organic coconut oil, soybean oil. There it is. Soy lecithin. Yeah, it is a dollar. That's convenient. At least coconut oil is listed first. I mean, so every Dollar Tree is going to have canned meats and canned meats are great for convenience. So like just opening up one of these tuna cans, right? And then adding mayo to it or dressing to up the fat. It's a pretty good source of protein. So what's in here is tuna, water, and then vegetable broth. But some you can find with just tuna and water. And then I feel like I see a lot of people eating these Vienna sausages. Are they like, good? I've never had them. Have you ever them. seen? Yeah, I've never had them though. Me neither. Um, and I don't know what's in them. Mechanically separated chicken, water, salt, corn syrup. So no, I'm not getting these, but I do see a lot of people eating them. Similar to Spam, it seems like. Spam, spam is, corn is pork, syrup? I think. Yeah, I think it oh, does. Oh, okay. They have uh, oh, I love those. smoked herring. That's a that's something Matt would probably get. If you don't like sardines, maybe start with these. These are more palatable, I would say. The herring, the water, and salt. So they have smoked oysters. I'm surprised. Wow, how impressive. Look for the oil. What type of In oil? In sunflower oil. Yeah. Mondo was the best. The blue's the best flavor. You like though. Mondo better than the Kool-Aid ones? Yeah. Oh, I like the Kool-Aid ones. Loved Mondo. Most candy aisles are going to have something that's sugar-free. So it's pretty big labeled. And the first ingredient is isomalt. I don't know about isomalt, how that affects... I'd have to look it up or test it. Sugar-free hard candies, chocolates, polyglycetol syrup. I don't know what that is. Me neither. They have the Russell Stover ones too. These are not good. They're maltitol. You can see maltitol is among the first ingredients there and it's 25 grams of maltitol for three pieces. That's that's not good for keto. As far as drinks go, I see the ice drinks. For which... a dollar. Those are dollar at normal stores too though. And then they also have sugar-free rock stars. I've never tried for a, a dollar. rock star. Yeah, but for a dollar, that's a really good price. They don't have like any uh, zero Gatorade or Powerade. They have diet cranberry oh. juice too. So this is two carbs per eight ounces and it's good for like mixing, right? Vodka, yeah. cranberry. They got Propel. This is probably like my favorite one that I'll have once in a while. Similar to Gatorade, Powerade Zero. It's my favorite tasting one. This is good deals here. One dollar for Tupperware. If you're trying to do some meal prepping, it's probably good to upgrade to glass. We usually use glass, but you know, if you're on a budget, of course. Overall, I must say pretty good selection. It exceeded my expectations. It's a lot better than Dollar General, at least the Dollar General we've been to. I mean, I'm not gonna come here regularly for my grocery shopping. It's overall pretty good. You're obviously sacrificing quality but the prices make up for it, right? That's it guys, comment below with the things that you most commonly buy at Dollar Tree and what's the best dollar store? Is it Dollar General, Dollar Tree or Family Dollar? Rank them below.